Arvelino up through the Dewan corner and now Binder squeezing McPhee through the sunlit and Binder's made that move stick. The South African's charge is relentless. It's merciless. Now he's up in the second place. Cue the shark music, the Jaws music. Darren Binder trying to lead this Australian Grand Prix. South African in fine form so far. Into turn four then. Dallaporta still has the advantage from Darren Binder. Good little move that. Oh, there was contact there between Alba Terrain as they think of Darren Binder on the exit. Yeah, they all managed just about to keep it sunny side up then, so it's still Dalla Porta out of Siberia on lap number eight. Over the line last time around, the top 24 riders were scuffed covered by 3.6 seconds. Canati over the line last time around was only 1.6 seconds behind Dalla Porta, who wasn't even in the point scoring places. Who's that on the grass? That's Suzuki. the reason why Suzuki fell so far back. Into turn one then, he was on the grass. Oh, yeah, now it's Binder. Binder nearly launched himself to the moon coming out the sort of loop. Poor Ricardo Rossi on the outside just had nowhere to go. That was Binder just being a little bit over keen on the throttle before that left hand side. The tyre got up to temperature and poor Ricardo Rossi just had nowhere to go. His race coming to a very premature ending. Dallaporta doing the leading. The world championship leader with nine podiums to his name looking for his third win of the year. This is the way to do it. He'd love to win the World Championship from the top step of the podium. Mark Marquez, he risked everything that he to beat Fabio Quattararo to do just that in both the GP back in Buriram a few weeks ago. It's getting tight there though. Dallaporta was in the really hot into the first corner. Ran wide and with the slipstream as well. Rodrigo Binder and Toba just sweep on through. So now Gabriel Rodrigo leads the Australian Grand Prix. Bit of a twitch there though from Rodrigo. And then our side by side, Darren Binder coming in here on the slipstream is Kaito Toba. The opening night race winner. Yeah, out of nowhere, Tatsuki Suzuki off the track on that one at the Southern Loop. He's now right in this victory battle as well. He's fought his way back from way outside the top 20. He's now in fourth place because he's just picked up Della Porta into turn four. All wide there from Binder. That allows Toba back through again. There you see, P3, OK. Well, that position will change in probably the next couple of corners. From first to 20th, there is two seconds covering them. That's it, two seconds. Fastest lap on that uh, last lap was from Jarman Massia. He's in 16th. Toba, that's about the biggest advantage we've seen anybody have in this Australian Grand Prix. As he sweeps through Lukey Heights. Down there into turn number 10. No way through for Mignon, Gabriel Rodrigo. So Toba, Binder. Brilliant recovery from that first lap off back excursion by Suzuki. He is now inside that top three. Kaito Toba then runs the final turn 12 here at Phillip Island. There'll be 14 laps remaining when he crosses the line. Looking for his first win since that opening night. Darren Binder never been victorious on the very top step before. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? To think in the 14 races since Qatar, Kaito Toba had scored just 35 points since. He's been in these positions before, though, as we said, and it's all gone horribly wrong, but at the moment, he's running a real strong Philip Island Grand Prix. Nicely tucked in there in third place behind Dalla Porta and Rodrigo. Lorenzo Dalla Porta's father looks on. Massimiliano Dalla Porta. Yeah, there's not going to be too many fingernails left. There's going to be a fair few squeaks of uh, water before him has gone for it. And he's going to be hoping there's going to be a fair few squeaks of something a little bit stronger uh, to celebrate with here in Australia later on tonight. Well, here, there were tears last time out in Japan for Lorenzo Della Porta's father, who's by his side at every single Grand Prix. Will there be tears of joy again a bit later on? On board now with the World Championship leader, Lorenzo Della Porta. He's riding a brilliant race at the moment. Comfortably going to be crowned 2019.